Let's get to making our tractor. We're going to use lines and shapes to do that. For this activity, you are going to need a piece of paper, some crayons, and if you'd like to, you can find some lids that are different sizes to make the wheels. If you don't have lids, you can always just try your best at making circles on your own. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna take my two lids to begin. I have one lid that is smaller than the other. If you can see, see that? What is smaller than the other? So I'm gonna put my lids right next to each other, but not touching. And I'm gonna take a black crayon and trace around my lids. Sometimes it's easier if somebody holds the lid down while you trace around it so that it doesn't move on you. All right, then I'm gonna lift my lids up and I have two circles, right? That are two different sizes, one smaller than the other. These circles are going to be, what do you think it's gonna be on the tractor? If you guessed the wheels, you are right. And a tractor has a smaller wheel in the front and a larger wheel in the back. That's why we have two different sizes. Now we're gonna connect the wheels with a horizontal line near the bottom. All right, now we're going to add some more lines. This time from the top of our large circle. So we're going to take our crayon and start on the side of our large circle here, kind of near the top and draw a vertical line up and then on the other side, do the same. Another vertical line going up. And let's close that off with a horizontal line at the top. Now I've made almost like a, a rectangle shape. All right, time to make the rest of the tractor. So now I'm going to take another vertical line from this smaller uh, circle this time and this time I'm not gonna go quite up, quite as high up, just a little bit of a line there, shorter line. And now I'm gonna take a horizontal line and bring that all the way to the other rectangle that I made, like that. Can you tell it's already starting to look like a tractor? All right, now we're gonna add some circles inside the other circles, our wheels. So I'm gonna add a smaller circle inside the smaller wheel and another smaller circle inside the larger wheel. All right, now I'm going to add another little circle, even smaller inside each of those circles. Let's put some uh, spokes on our uh, wheel next. So I'm going to add a vertical line from the top to the bottom. Let's do the same in the other wheel. All right, now I'm going to try a horizontal line going across. Okay, and now let's put a diagonal line to on each of those sections like that. Diagonal, and now diagonal on this section. Now I've got my wheels. If I'm going too fast for you at any time, just pause the video and catch up. All right, now let's add some details to our tractor. The first thing I'm going to do is add a rectangle for a window. So I'm gonna go right to this section here of the cab. This would be the, called the cab of the tractor. It's where the person sits to drive it. And I'm gonna make a horizontal line that's sort of short and then a vertical line going up and now I've got a window for the driver to see out of and it looks like a skinny rectangle right it's got four sides and four corners one two three four now we'll make another rectangle for a side window right over here vertical horizontal, vertical, 
horizontal. There we go. All right, now we're going to add some other details. Let's add a little exhaust pipe coming off here. It's going to be a very small little square shape, rectangle shape. And then a little grill at the front. This is gonna be the front of the tractor. So I have two little horizontal lines, very short little horizontal lines coming up and then a vertical line coming down to make a very skinny rectangle. Okay, now we are going to make some more exhaust pipes. These are gonna be coming off the front of the tractor. So I'm going to draw a vertical line. That's a little bit taller. Another vertical line that's about the same. And then a short horizontal line to close it up so that we make another little rectangle. Let's do the same thing next to it, but this time we're gonna make this one a little bit shorter. Two vertical lines and a horizontal line. And now we have two little exhaust pipes. Let's draw some um, more little lines on this part of our tractor to make it look a little more realistic. I'm gonna add some vertical lines here. One, two, three, four, maybe about four or five. And let's draw a long rectangle here with a vertical line, a horizontal line, another vertical line, another horizontal line. And fill that with some horizontal lines, short horizontal lines, like so. The last detail I'm gonna put is just a little top on our cab here. So for that, I'm going to make my line come out a little bit longer, like that, with two little short horizontal lines, two very short vertical lines coming up, and then a long horizontal line going across to close it up. And that is my tractor. So to finish it off, we'll wanna add some color and you can add any color you want. Maybe you have a realistic looking tractor that would be green or yellow or red, or maybe you have a really cool tractor that's never been seen before that's rainbow colored or pink and purple. You get to be imaginative and color your tractor any way that you would like. And if you want to, you can even add some background to it as well. I'm going to do that now. that we already knew how to make and make them into shapes and then make those shapes into something. I can't wait to see what your tractors look like and what colors you chose to color them. Post them in Seesaw by next Wednesday and I will take a look at them. Have a great week. Bye.